Mitch Daniels uh, is one of the most interesting and innovative people in public life, and it's, his life has been grounded uh, in complete integrity, uh, intellectual curiosity, and a down-home nature that draws people towards his ideas and his causes. And as a result, he was extraordinarily successful for eight years as governor of the state of Indiana, and now is perhaps the most innovative uh, leader of any major university in the United States. When Mitch took over the reins of, of the presidency at Purdue, I'm sure there were some skeptics inside the Purdue community thinking, ah, oh, a politician coming in to, to, um, you know, to tell us how to do things. And uh, in typical Daniel's style, he won people over uh, and built a consensus on how to move forward. And that was based on maintaining the high academic standards that Purdue's known for, uh, injecting a really healthy dose of fiscal discipline uh, during the Daniels reign, there hasn't been an increase in tuition. Uh, being one of the leaders as it relates to protecting academic freedom and freedom of expression on campuses. Uh, sadly, there are many universities today that uh, don't believe that that's a high priority and a, an important value, but Mitch does. And as a result, students hear all sorts of differing views as they should, and they're, free, they're, they're allowed to freely express their views. Uh, that, that, that kind of leadership really matters. And his innovation has been brought to bear by, by uh, establishing a uh, polytechnic charter school as well as the uh, purchase of Kaplan, which will allow for Purdue to expand its reach on a global basis. Uh, it would be wonderful for higher education to embrace those principles across the board. I think we would be um, making the best investment we could make for our, not, for our country to re remain competitive. Mitch is uh, hilarious, <laughs> you know, a funny kind of Hoosier way, I guess. Uh, he and I had a chance to go with Joe Manchin and Tom Vilsack as governors uh, to visit our troops, uh, the National Guards of each respective state, uh, during Easter uh, in uh, Afghanistan and, and Iraq, and we uh, developed an incredible bond, all four of us, to, to be able to see the people, the citizen soldiers that were there serving their country and serving their states. And um, the combination of, uh, of particularly Joe Manchin and, and uh, Mitch Daniels together was pretty special. Uh, he's got a great sense of humor. He is uh, witty beyond belief, uh, smarter than a whip, and um, uh, I could see why people would warmly embrace him in, in, a, in a major university. I, I want to commend ACTA for uh, giving the prestigious Merrill Award to a great American, Mitch Daniels, and I appreciate the work that uh, that ACTA does each and every day to protect freedom on campuses. Uh, we have the best university system in the world, but it is threatened by the narrowing of uh, thought on these campuses. And But for ACTA, uh, it would be far worse. And I commend you for the work you do. I hope you'll stay the course and continue to provide uh, freedom of expression, the environment for freedom of expression on every campus in the United States.